Okay, so what I'm going to show you is how I'm going to make my curry uh, turkey patties. Okay, what you're going to need is you're going to need some garlic, some onions, of course you're, I'm using the red curry paste that I showed you in the video prior to this, and of course some ground turkey. Now, you could use um, green peppers and red peppers, uh, but the reason I'm not using it is um, that because a lot of people are sensitive to peppers. So I'm not going to use it in this video, but feel free to add whatever you want. But the main thing you're going to need is your onions, your garlic, and if you want a little bit of ginger, but your curry paste. Okay? Good. Which is that? Oh, and uh, one more thing. I'm going to add a little bit of celery just to give it a little bit of crunch when, uh, when I cook it. Okay, so now like I said, you can also add uh, cilantro as well as a good herb and uh, coriander, which will also give it a little bit of flavor or even some turmeric. But, um, and I'll do that probably when I start cooking this. Okay. All right, so here's my onions and garlic all chopped up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the ground turkey with the uh, curry powder, curry paste, the red curry paste, this right here. And I'm going to mix it all together. And that will bring it a lot of flavor. And what I'm going to use to fry the, uh, the turkey patties is the coconut oil that I showed in my previous video. Which is right here. Okay. Okay, now I have my celery onions, garlic, and my red curry paste. And I'm just going to mix it all together into one bowl and let it flavor up. So before you mix in the meat, what you want to do is you want to add a little bit of water to the red curry paste so it, so it mixes with the turkey um, evenly. Okay, now this is the mixture. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mold it into a patty. Alright, and here are my molded patties, and now I'm just going to fry it up. Alright, here are the curry turkey patties that I'm cooking. They're almost ready. Um, make sure that it's cooked thoroughly. Okay, so, and I'm going to plate it up. Alright, and here is the finished product. Okay, now you can use this on top of, uh, like, a, in, in a hamburger of some sort if you wanted to. Alright, so 